comrades, it is I, your Supreme Overlord, Fanny Vanilla. As always, it has been a pretty busy time with school and managing a non-existent but real sounding country. Thankfully, I am taking the summer semester off so I can mentally recharge for school. So that means I'll have more time to make videos. Speaking of my non-existent but real sounding country, join my Discord, the NBRSC of Rasper. It's a fun place to hang out with weekly streams, tons of channels to talk about various topics, and of course, the universally acclaimed, the famous Red Light District. By the phone. 18 and over please, because I am not responsible for your parents' bad parenting. Anywho, so big news that came out recently, Gundam is getting a Netflix live action adaptation. I know, I know, I too am worried. Dare I say... I am sickened, but curious. As great of a show Gundam has been, yes, even the worst of Gundam like Seed and Seed Destiny have some good stuff, Gundam has a pretty sketchy track record when it comes to live action. Lest we forget Gundam Battle for the Earth, a cursed game on the PlayStation 1 where you can make choices in battle and progress through its story. Goodbye, Garma! It had a strange English translation such as Zeon being called John or Jean. 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 Jean! The game cutscenes were mixed with game footage and live action actors. Just kind of think of it as like Red Alert. Space! The acting was very cheesy, but that's kind of its charm. Whew. That was some intense combat. You took on Shar Aznable and handled him like he was a rookie. <laughs> oh. Looks like he did a little bit of damage to Gundam, though, before he got away. We had a tough time ourselves, just defending White Base. There were so many Zacks swarming everywhere. I almost thought we were going to get overwhelmed. Uh, 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 uh. Untapped meme potential. There are tons of videos about this game that are on YouTube, so I recommend checking it out. But it did not end there. Live Action Gundam had one more stint. G-Savior. This one really divides Gundam fans because it had a really good video game, but a pretty subpar movie. Did I mention they recycle Starship Trooper armor? Hmm, now wait, where have I seen this from? The concept and the heart was there, but the execution was... yikes. Really, Mark? Is that so? Thank you, Canada. Your wonderful gift of G Savior will be missed. Really? So what can we expect from a live-action Gundam film? Well, it's 2021, so we have a good chance of having some upgraded effects. Oh no, please, not like that. This is Hollywood we're talking about. We got a glimpse at what they could be like in Ready Player One. However, we do have that strange social climate we're currently in. No, that's not me saying I don't want a black protagonist or a female lead. After all, Lorraine Sehak is one of my most favorite protagonists in Gundam. If they can make compelling characters, then this live action has a good shot. However, if they try to make a social justice statement, 
this may not go so well. Just look at how they massacred Voltron. Anywho, comrades, that's the video. Let me know what you think down below. Are you excited and ready for the greatest live-action adaptation of all time? Or perhaps are you skeptically optimistic while frantically pressing that panic button? And of course, don't forget to follow my Instagram, vanny.vanella.v3. I promise you'll enjoy it. Congratulations, you made it to the end. The cringe is over. Unless you want more. Do it. Click those videos in the box. Do it. Do it. What is the cause So, I got the answer. Sir, we're being circled by two of our rays. They think we're one of them. <laughs> oh, how fitting, General. You're about to lose at the hands of your own machines. <laughs>